While there are many species that pollinate, there's one that usually comes to mind when we think of pollination. Bees! Let's take a look. Hello there, bee. What are you up to? Hello, ambient voice. I'm searching for the sweet, delicious liquid nectar and flowers. What's that getting stuck to your body? Oh, that's just pollen. It sticks to my fuzzy body while I fly around harvesting yummy nectar. I don't mind it at all, and I'm helping the flowers, which then helps me. Hey, bee! Have some room for me? Of course. The more pollinators, the merrier. What's the big deal with pollination? Pollination is super important! How dare you! Be cool, wasp. Deep breaths. Alright, alright. It's just that the ambient voice doesn't understand the importance of pollination. Let's explain then. Here we have an anther, which is the male part of the flower. It makes pollen. Then we have the pistil, which is the female part of the flower. When a pollinator, such as myself, brings pollen to a pistil, the pistil then moves the pollen to its eggs, resulting in fertilization and seeds. Seeds can grow more plants. Depending on the kind of plant a fruit may grow. Young. There are over 200,000 species of animals that play the pollinator role, including hummingbirds, butterflies, moths, bats, wasps, beetles, and other small mammals. Wow, that makes things much clearer. Thanks for explaining. But we're in trouble! Oh no, what's wrong? I don't know a lot of my friends and family have gotten sick with white nose syndrome. Lots of my friends and family have gotten sick too. I don't understand why. I hear it's because of pesticides that humans use to grow foods. I hear it's because humans keep destroying our habitats. I hear it's because humans keep spreading invasive species. Well, gee, that sounds awful. Are we doomed? There's a lot that humans can do to turn things around. Do tell. I would love it if humans chose a variety of plants in their gardens that flower throughout the year, so there's always lots of yummy nectar. Also, it makes me really happy when the flowers are clumped together rather than planted individually. As long as we're talking about planting, we'd love it if humans grew plants that occur naturally in the area, like asters, goldenrod, local grasses, or milkweed. Monarch butterflies like me love milkweed. Plant some for us and we'll come visit. Leave some shrubs for us birds to nest in and hide in. It would make me feel much safer and more comfortable when visiting gardens. I would love it if humans didn't use pesticides on the gardens and lawns. They can do things like removing pests by hand or using natural predators. Anything but pesticides. Those make me sick. Wow, thanks for explaining this to me. There are some good ideas that I need to share with all the humans I know. In the meantime, y'all better get pollinating. Bye-bye, ambient voice! Bye-bye, pollinators.